Hey folks, welcome back to Build It With Smith. We're playing more Animal Crossing. Now, last time we paused the episode right here where you can see our screen is currently paused and we're going to continue this episode. So tune in and I'll catch you guys in a second. All right, so let's first come over here and make these items. Hopefully I have enough room. Okay, so now I can craft the flimsy shovel. Okay, and one more thing, I want to craft that pole vault. There we go. All right. All right, so there's that. We're done for now. And let me see I'm gonna go over to visit blathers and see if any one of these creatures that I caught is something that he will require of me oh and you know what are you the one that will heal me let me see feel free to chat with me anytime there's any I guess it's not him oh you know what it wasn't it wasn't it wasn't one of these guys it was one of my uh, neighbors there he's just telling he's he doesn't even care that I look like this so, oh, a branch. And, oh, another branch. Before I go talk to Blathers, I don't want to come in just looking like I've just been in a fight. So, uh, let me find... Hey, can you help me? Whoa! What's up with your face? Did you get stung by wasps? Did it hurt? Are you okay? Yeah, they can be mean sometimes, or uh, all times. Gotta be careful around them, you know. Um, well, it's kind of too late to be careful, you know, but... You know what I mean? Oh, but you know what I mean. Nah. -huh. I bet it does hurt, though. If I had medicine with me, I'd give it to you. But tell you what, I will show you how to make medicine. My mom taught me this when I was little. Well, I knew you were good for something. Okay. Just get all this stuff for the recipe together, and you can whip it out in no time. Well, guess what, buddy? I already have a recipe. All right, let me... Let me fix myself here, so I gotta learn this. Mm-hmm. There it is. Oh, I guess I gotta go back and make the. Gotta go back over here and actually craft it. What do I have? Do I have something I can sell? Um. I've got that wood, which I'll probably keep that, to be honest with you. I was just trying to see because I know, I guess I'm going to go to Blathers first and try to sell off what I can because I know I'm about to go on this pole vaulting adventure and um, I want to kind of clear out my my uh, space if I could. All right, where's that medicine? Is this it? Medicine. Here we go. We got a, a wasp nest and a clump of weeds told you we need those all right I made some medicine now I am done let me take the medicine and then we're off to visit mr. blathers okay um, get my medicine here Ah, and I'm better. My guy looks pretty cool, to be honest with you. I like the way he comes out. I like his shirt. Looks like he's got some somewhat matching shoes with a little green in it. Uh, one of my island buddies gave me that hat, if you're wondering. And, all right, Blathers, what's up? I don't have a lot of time. Please let me know if you have items to donate, blah, blah, blah. Make a donation. Let's see. Marvelous. What would you like to donate? I have a butter. Oh my goodness. I like it better when I can just donate a lot of things. So, did you know that hitting B will actually speed up the process? You know, I wonder if it would help anybody watching this video to get like a top five shortcuts or top five, I don't want to say hacks, but top top five things that you can do 
in or um, starting off in the game, things like that. You know, who would have knew? Hit B, and you'll speed pass all of this stuff that this guy's talking about. Um, all right, because I do have some more things to donate. And we're trying to get him closer to his 15 number here. So here I go, hand on the B, paper kite. Oh, he doesn't like that. This guy to be to be a person who's supposedly interested in science and nature and all this stuff that he claimed, um, he sure is grossed out easily by poisonous. What is that? Oh, I didn't know that. Even this butterfly's black and white striped larva and little golden. Papai? I remember that word in school, but I now I don't remember how to pronounce it. Uh, they're toxic to predators. Indeed, the paper bun of a foul flavor is, oh, maybe that means if you eat it, which we won't have that problem. All right, gotcha, gotcha. Thank you. You're a, you're a wealth of knowledge, Blathers. All right, I got one more thing. I think one more. Here is a black bass. I know you ain't got that. Yes, a black bass. Blah, 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 blah. All right, I am busy. Whew, okay. Let's see if we can ease out of here without him jumping into another conversation. Nine more donations. So we're off over the bridge now. Our face is better. And we are off to go try and... Uh, let me get my pole vaulter out. There it is. So we're going to go here and do some exploring. It's going to be great. Yoo-hoo! Okay, so what are we looking for here? Let me get my shovel out because that's where he said this is where you can find some things in the ground like fossils. And that's what I'm looking for. I don't see any. Actually, I don't know how a fossil is supposed to look, but I imagine it will just kind of jump out at you. There's some fish, so just in case all else fails, I could always fish. Let me get back to that pole vaulter and go across this way. We got anything? Ah, this looks like this looks like the spot. Here we go. It is a fossil. Okay. That was easy enough. You got any more of those? Ooh, that looks like a big fish. Is it? Let me check my inventory. Um, only got three more spaces. That just looks... I uh, will let it go. All right. Um, I need to find some more fossils. Ah, here's one right here. How convenient. Here's one. Okay. Look, I dug up a fossil. All right, is that it? Let's see. Can we go Can we go over here? Oh, I can. All right, let's see. So we're just doing exploring now. So this is a kind of a big island. I've never been this far. Well, obviously, I just got the pole. I um, was wondering if we could come across another fossil before we go back to Blathers. Is this something that he could use, I wonder? Let's pick it up just in case. Although, I think he limited it to uh, fish. Oh, look, it's, uh, it's that message bottle. I saw it there. Yes, it is. Oh, it's a clam. It's a, yeah. All right, so that's something else he can use. It can be used as fishing bait, and he's got an idea. My guy has an idea. Oh, wait, no. Cover that up. Hey. Why to cover up, guys? Um, let's keep an eye out. Uh, 
Uh oh. Yep, pockets are full. Should swap it with something else. No, just drop it. All right. So I guess that pretty much. Oh, there's another one. Hopefully, that'll just go with the other one. Can't carry anything else. Uh, can we swap it? Let's see. Is there anything we can swap? Um, not really. That butterfly. I wanted to hold on to that. What is this? A giant clam? I kind of feel like maybe uh, maybe this this clump of weeds. I didn't know I still had a clump of weeds actually. So anyway. Yeah, we'll swap it with that. We'll just leave this <laughs> clump of weeds right there. And uh, we don't really need those. Let's see if we... There's another clam. So it's the same kind of clam. And he keeps saying he can't carry anything else. We'll just let this go then. I don't understand if it's the same kind of clam why you can't carry anything else oh and so here's a bridge can I actually walk across here oh you could do some fishing out here all right let's not get ahead of ourselves or lost let's just um go back now let's go now to turn some stuff in and uh, before we end this episode, which we will be ending this episode pretty soon. Ooh. Ooh. I know about this. This is like a money tree. Dig this up. There is money, of course. Uh, can't carry it, so I got to swap it. I really need... I don't want to... Do I want to... No, I want to swap it. Because I cannot let this pass. All right. Um, swap it. Alright, so we want to leave that dug out. That's the money tree. Alright, so the money tree apparently grows money, if you didn't catch that. And let's go now visit Blathers. Pawn awesome stuff. Um, do I have something? I think I do. Marvelous, yes. I have two fossils. Apparently that's all I have. And I'll sell the rest of the stuff I have, guys. And, um, I actually think I have enough to sell, I mean, to, uh, to buy a house. Oh, apparently it's a T-Rex skull. Hmm. Yeah, I'll donate it. Yep, want to add it to his collection. That's all I'm trying to do for you. Just take care of you there, Blathers. All right. And I'm a bit busy. I don't need to know about the T-Rex skull, but I would like to make another donation. Now then. Also applies to the fossil you brought me this time, but only a specialist such as myself can appraise newly discovered fossils to determine its proper designation. Okay, from now on, do please bring me any fossils of unknown origin. Whether or not you choose to donate is up to you. Either way, I shall gladly assess it. With this, we need eight more donations. Needless to say, I'm eager to accept blah, 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 blah. Okay, I would like to donate something else. Make a donation. I have nothing. Wait a minute. Oh. So did he take both of my fossils or? What about this fossil? Is this like, well, let's see. Apparently he has to access them, assess them. So let me see. I will just have him access, assess this, uh, Right here, that one please. No, not a change of mind. No, access my fossil, buddy. I guess I hit the wrong button. Fossil, access it, assess it. 
Let me see here. What is it? Is this another? Is it like the same kind? Is that what the problem is? I don't understand. A diplo hit. This is different. So why is he acting like he wasn't going to accept my donations? Maybe I have to assess it first. Yes. Okay. I'm donating it. Okay. That's the deal, guys. You got to assess it first. He got to tell you what it is, and then you can choose to donate it. I probably should have listened a little bit when he was talking. All right. So there's that. And I want to see about that money tree. Yep, seven more donations. So we're on our way, guys. Probably in the next episode, we would have had uh, enough donations for Glathers so that he can display them all and uh, put a little bit more work into this museum he's got here. All right, so let's go in here and sell off whatever else I have that did not get sold. Go over here, talk to Timmy. Let's see. I want to sell stuff. I am offering. What am I offering? I will offer him this cowrie shell, the manila clam, another manila clam, a giant clam, a yellow butterfly, and that's it. I'll hold on to the hardwood and. Well, I can sell these apples, actually. Look at all the fine things you brought. Allow me to run the numbers. And I'm done. I can buy all these. A total of 1,620 bells sold. Please come again. You got it. All right. Um, so, next. So, let me go here and now access my phone. Because I have been... Racking up the Nook Mouse. Look at all these Nook Mouse now. Okay, I did this one for filling up my Critopedia Critipe with fish. So that's going to grab me 300 Nook Mouse. And so like I said, guys, um, I'm on the way to building my house. And I was talking to Tom Nook about it. And he says that um, he can build me a house for 10,000 bells. Um... So, I, I want to get that started today before we end the episode. And then the other thing was, apparently there was a huge cost, bell-wise, a huge cost to move to this island that they didn't tell me about until I actually got here. Because if, if I would have known that it was going to cost all of that money to move to a deserted island, I would have just stayed home. But since I was here and everything, he said... Uh, a, an exuberant amount of bells is what he told me but he also gave me an alternative so I'm kinda like on the um, on the uh, payment plan if you will and so I can pay him in Nook Mouse which is what I'm doing right now and uh, as you can see I have 6150 and that is gonna be more than enough to pay off my trip so we're going to do that as soon as we are done uh, going through them all and racking them up. And uh, is that all? That is, nope, that is not it. So, man, we, we're doing pretty good on Nook Mouse. I'll have some left over. And so I think I can use Nook Mouse to also buy things at that ATM. Don't quote me there, but I think that's what they said. So I'll be doing that. And so, all right. I think that's it. Okay. I feel good about that. Okay. So there's my Critopedia. It's telling me everything that I added on. So it's just showing me that and the fish and things like that. And my friends list, uh, DIY recipes it's right here, all the new ones that I have. So that's good. And now, let me talk to you, sir. Ah, Smith, hello, hello. Would you like to talk to me about, what would you like to talk to me about? I'm all ears. About my moving fees. Oh, you would like to pay your moving fees? You bet your bottom dollar. You owe me 5,000 Nook Mouse. I'm ready to pay. Thank you so much. So, 
There we go. 5,000 miles, not a mile less. With that, your moving fees have been paid in full. This is a happy day by, yes it is, sir. Debt free, debt free. I am here to stay. Let me be more specific. How is that tent treating you? Um, it's fine, I guess. Oh, just fine, but consider doing fine on a formerly deserted island is quite good. Hmm? Together we're reshaping this barren wastela, I mean pristine paradise, into a lovely community. Ah yes, we mustn't rest on our laurels. Hmm? Perhaps there is more we could do. Yes, yes. I suppose now is the time. Oh, I suppose now the time is right to discuss the possibility of building custom homes. I like that. Now, there are certain challenges to building fabulous homes in such a remote location as this. Challenges that do translate directly into cost, I'm afraid. Ah, but with zero interest financing and extremely lax repayment plan, anything is possible. So, Smith, if you ever find yourself interested in a new home, do come and see me. Oh, one more thing to share. We have, re we have a mal redemption service for Nook Mouse. When you access the Nook Stop, you will be able to redeem your mouths for lots of interesting things. You'll be sure to check it out and sometime soon, hmm? Well then, I hope you continue to enjoy your getaway package. So, can I talk about the house now? About my home. Oh, Smith, have you made a decision about home ownership? Ready to move forward? As fun as living in a tent can be, a house could give you more space and help you put down roots. Now, building a house means taking out a new loan of the amount of 98,000 bells. So, what do you think? Ready to build your new home? Um, 98,000? Uh, yes. Let's just say yes. Thank you for your business. I'll get the construction started right away. By the way, you get to choose from eight different colors on the roof. Could you please select the roof color? Uh, let's go with a red roof. Red roof in. I'll get that order in there for you. Oh, one more thing. Homeowners get an automatic Nook Mallage program upgrade. Just give me one moment, hmm? Oh, it's whipping out his phone. Here we go. Yes, yes, there we go. I've updated your program membership details. Now, when you use the Nook Mouse, you'll have access to all the Nook Mouse benefits. Nook Mouse include a nifty way to earn additional miles for special circumstances. You'll see the details when we launch the app, so please look at it when you can. That is all for me. Your wonderful home will be ready tomorrow. Quite exciting, yes? All right, so not in the next episode, unless I record the next episode tomorrow, but uh, I think I'm going to, you know, go right on playing today and probably put another episode up there. All right, guys, so we've got quite a bit accomplished today. My guy looks like he's happy, uh, doesn't have a bumpy face, but um, we're going to get ready to uh, end this here episode, and we will be back with another episode very soon, which would be uh, coming up pretty soon. So you guys stay tuned, and I will catch you next time. Smith out.